back to this Mickey's over 100 golf course evening here and today is Sunday the 20th of August 2023 I'm driving up to Aberdeen I've got a nine day trip round the north of Scotland with Mizuno golf pairs uh, left Blackpool this morning five and a half hours but I've taken a wee detour instead of going up the east coast route to Aberdeen come up over the mountains and uh, we've come to Braemar this is course number 125 this year Looks a fantastic setting. Let's go and see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 125 of 2023. It's Braemar Golf Club on the tee. The man playing the highest 18 hole golf course in the UK today from Kirkintilloch in Scotland, Smithy. Well, this is the opener at Braemar, 334 yards. From an elevated tee next to the clubhouse. And a par 4, over there's a ditch down there What a spectacular opener Just look at the scenery around here Over oh, down on the level, in the fairway at the first Managed to stop short of the ditch there Again, I've just got to have a look round It's stunning I think the golf course is fairly flat That's from that elevated tee at the first Ah, this is the first green, the Brema. You really don't want to overshoot the green here Straight into the river I've now got a scenic walk to the second tee The bridge across the river, onto the other part of the course It's a bit different Look south the second hole. Honey, second at I have to say it's another beauty. 364 yards. I get the river all the way in the right hand side. That's flat to start off with, then it's a big rise up, a big climb up to the green there, way up high. Let's see if we can see it further down. There it is, I'm not sure if there's any ditches on this one. Harness is looking up to the second green, so it's a, a high shot, you don't want to be short or roll back down. A bit of a ditch in the middle, I'm just to the left of the fairway but it looks like there's uh, actually water left hand and right hand side, well there's a lot of water on the right hand side with the river I'm just up behind the second hole, it's just, oh, scenery, stunning Let's have a look around Well it's the third hole, 146 yards, par 3, 10 in the dip and then rising up uh, the green's actually below the level of the tee What a hole again! That's three absolutely stunning opening holes I'm hard pressed to actually remember a course where I've been so impressed with the, the first three holes Well I'm pin high, right hand side of the green I've just, I'm just off the green about the yard This is a view of the green at the end It's too deep as well There's a bank there in the middle it's the fourth at Braemar, 376 yards. Came from the elevated tee, kind of going diagonally across. And apparently the seventh hole crosses this one. There's the part three going across. So we're going down into the bottom corner. I'm back down on the level of the fourth. I'll go down to the green. Keep going straight. The bridge comes onto this part of the course again. Well, this course is a par 65, seven par threes, and the rest par fours, no par fives. And people tend to assume, well, it's going to be easy just because it's a, a par 65. But, well, here we go. Look at this par three, 231 yards. Long way. I just forgot to mention this is the fifth hole. Now we've got the second of three consecutive par threes, and this is the sixth hole. 103 yards, so not very long. And it's, uh, it starts off straight, but then there it is on the plateau over there. So technically it's an uphill par 3, but I'm not going to complain because it just looks really good. Nice challenge this one. Oh, it's a tiny green at the 6th. Oh, what a shot. 6 foot away, for the opportunity, Smithy Ball on that dance floor. And oh, what a nice dance floor it is. Oh, I just missed the birdie part. Misjudged the pace of the green there, left it short. Oh, criminal. Anyway, on to the third consecutive par 3 This is the 7th hole 
207 yards. And that's another beauty. Right down you've got the river at the back, I think it's the River D. I'll need to check that. Ah, yeah, straight down, next to the bridge there. I forgot to mention it actually crosses the fourth, the fourth comes down from the left. And away to the right and this one goes across it. I looked down at the seventh green, I couldn't reach it again. And the eighth hole at Braemar, it's a short par four, 253 yards. Going across the river. Interesting, so we'll take the stunt golf ball carrying out for this one just in case we, we top it. And it's not the River D, this is called Clooney Water, but a couple of miles up the road it flows into the River D. That's his view into the 8th green. Uh, the wind's taking my ball right. Going in the rough at the side. That's a few in. we get tennis courts in the background there. And this is the uh, green at the 8th. Smithy ball on the green in two. But the opportunity. Gone past the pin by about 20 feet. On the 9th hole, 257 yards. Uh, another short par four. Across the ditch. Well, it's the only danger. It's quite a wide fairway, this one. And the 10th green. But once again, it's Smithy balls on the dance floor. I'll be leaving all the body parts short. But, uh, Greens aren't the fastest, they're in great condition, but they, they don't particularly run very fast, so they give it a good whack. Well, I've come to 10th hole, and an update Smithy against the golf course. Smithy's up by one, I've had uh, three pars in the last four holes, so I'll come back from a poor start. Aye, that's me, one under my handicap. Uh, this is a long hole, 411 yards, par four. I have to play out to the right, and then it comes back into the left. Dangerous to try and cut the corner. Oh, and the dog leg opening out, you're heading back towards the river again, green up there. Not a bad backdrop. You get Glenchy Ski Centre a few miles up the road from here. 11th at Braemar, uh, it's a short par 4 at 262 yards. So it's going to start off straight and then dog leg to the left down there, once again near the river. So you're going to be an uh, gear down in the valley, there's a road up there that's the approach road into Braemar, so Glen Chee up in the distance there. Let's look down to the 11th green, uh, it slopes down a wee bit when it's dog legging to the left. Uh, and the wind coming straight at me, but you can see we're in the valley here, surrounded by the hills, the wind just swirls right round about, you never know which direction it's coming at you. That's the 12th at Braemar, uh, par 4, three, three, four yards. You actually tease down in the dip, so come up over the crest, there's a wee marker post there. Over the marker post at 12, that's the view down in the green. A little dip before, then the green slightly rises up again. 13th hole, 158 yards, par 3, that's another stunning hole. Look at the backdrop, and you get Heather behind it, Heather in front. Oh, terrific. That's the 14th hole, 310 yards, par 4. As uh, in the part of the course where the heather abounds, lots of it. So it's across the heather and then straight down. When I say straight down, it's kind of diagonal in the course. See the road up in the background. Ah, uh, the 15th, uh, it's a long par 4 at 400 yards. It's a rock index 2. And it's straightish. And Corner of the car, there looks like a wee bit of water in front of the green, some sort, whether it's a ditch or whether it's a, a mini river, who knows. Look at this. The scenery is, is, is just incredible. Ah, the 15th green, way down there between the trees. Ah, it's a bit of water sitting in front of it. And there's no way I'm going to reach that here, it's 400 yards. Even with a slight breeze behind me. But uh, no, nah, the water's too dangerous, we're going to lay up. Scared the cat. Well, I haven't laid up. There's a ditch running diagonally across there. I can see the green now. And here we are at 16th. This is the last day of par fours because we're finishing with two par threes. Uh, it's a short par four at 264 yards. Uh, quite similar to, uh, oh, what one was it, the 9th, I think? There's a ditch. You're running the same way, and you've got the river down at the bottom. 
uh, 17 pull, first set two par threes to finish off with 245 yards into the wind, ditch in front of the green. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> you know, I'm laying up at a par three, and this is still looking up at the par three 17th. There's the stream there, and I've uh, I gave it a decent hit, but I'm with the wind, I'm just a bit short of the stream. Well, believe it or not, my second shot at the par 3 was actually a 6 iron right into a stiff wind. I'm up put it dead. That's alright, I'll take the par, easy. Oh, here we come to the 18th, this beautiful Braemar course. Well, it's another uphill par 3. It's on a plateau, so I can see the green. And I've absolutely loved the course, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, 122 yards, just got to get it up on the top level, which is score smithy against the golf course. I'm still one shot up, so that means a bogey, a bogey for the win here. Let's do it. I'll pad the last two holes, so you can get a hat trick. And then, because I've finished, I won't be allowed to sing. Right, that's me finishing 18 here at Braemar. Wow, what a setting for golf. It's stunning. Oh, quite incredible. You just look about you the whole way around the course. Take it all in. Hi, the course itself. It starts out with three amazing holes, absolutely fantastic, the first three, a uh, couple of par fours and a par three. And the rest of the holes, it looks as if it's going to be a wee bit plain when you first see it because it's all flat, but it's nothing of the sort. You go into bits with the heather, lots of ditches going around. Uh, the fairways are beautifully cut, you know, kind of a wee bit zigzagging the edges of them, they're wide enough. But if you come off that fairway, you're not going to you have a job finding your ball. The grass is quite long, there's no semi rough. Just off it comes. All right, where is it? The greens are really good. The whole course is in uh, mint condition. The greens don't seem to run very fast, though. Although they're in great nick, uh, you've got to give the ball a wee bit of a push. Uh, it's relatively short. The par fours, there's some short par fours, and there's a couple of big longer ones. Uh, seven par threes. Uh, the par threes, the par threes are really, really good. There's not, a, you, you know, you might think, oh, par sixty-five, oh, this will be dead easy. It's not. The wind swirls about in the valley, and you see all the hills round about, which make can make it a wee bit tough. I absolutely loved it. You know, it's quite quirky, it's just right up my street. Uh, it's going to be a big ten out of ten for me. So that's me just heading to Aberdeen now, and uh, we'll be at Murka tomorrow. Good night.